Hey everyone, welcome to Beach Investing. I'm your host, Andre Angelkowski. We're in East York and we are sitting in front of a modern bungalow that was just built by the owner whose name is Aaron Kadu. This used to be a wartime bungalow and has now been transitioned and converted into a record setting bungalow in East York. So what I'm going to show you is what an $836,000 bungalow looks like inside. Let's go in and meet Aaron. And don't forget to admire the details. Nice door. Hey, Andre. Hey, Aaron. Hey, How are you? Good, man. Wow. This is the home that you built? This is the home that I built, yeah. And you helped me sell, so <laughs> you take as much credit, too. Wow. What a difference. Yeah. yeah. Big difference. I think if you remember when you came in before, the front door used to be over there, and then there was a closet, basically, right as you walked in the front. And then this was all just kind of boxes. So you definitely uh, helped open it up quite a bit and make it feel a little bit more loft, loft space like. Wow, I'm actually floored. This is amazing. Yeah. Tell us, tell us what, tell us really what you've done. Uh, you know, I know there's a lot of details here. Uh, I know there's a lot of people to kind of, I guess, talk about. Uh, you know, can we talk about a little bit about your budget? Yeah, so just to start off, I think our initial when we when we talked about this when I first got this, I was looking at about a, a budget of 150,000. Um, you know, I think as we started to move on uh, more and more and it became closer to spring, we realized that, you know, houses are starting to sell for a little bit more and I was able to kind of expand on the budget. Final budget after all was uh, 185,000. And I think we were able to do exactly what I, I wanted to do at the beginning, converting this old bungalow into a, you know, a modern, modern space. And uh, it was great. You know, uh, Jeff Reed really kind of opened it up with the idea of first uh, vaulting the ceilings. Grabbed that idea from him. And I think with ours, we kind of did a little bit more modern aspect to it. And uh, just some of the key features. Good buddy of mine, Shadi, helped us with this uh, pole handle which I thought was a really unique feature kind of thing. Just when you, there's nothing like going to a house and being able to grab onto a door handle that's super solid. And uh, we took the cedar, uh, the cedar door with the glass panel and kind of matched it with the, uh, with the trim up above on the deck. Uh, one of the other big features I really loved was the, um, was the re uh, brick reveal that we did here. Uh, a good buddy of mine, Josh, did this. And uh, we just had a simple accent light that came down at night, it looks, it looks amazing kind of thing. Did the custom cabinetry, uh, just so people have places to put their, um, you know, the stereo system and DVD player and so forth. Uh, this was one of my favorites, uh, was this, just the, you know, I like to call it the reverse waterfall. Uh, a lot of times, uh, countertops come and they come down over this way, but we just kind of wanted to do something a little different. Uh, instead of having just the island seating and trying to figure out where we would put a table in here, we attached it to the island so you still have a um, dining, dining room area table. So it was perfect. I thought it worked out really nice. Then of course my lovely wife's uh, artwork, emilymiller.com, if you want to check it out. Just added to it, so it was, uh, it was great. I've noticed a lot of her paintings in other people's houses too. Yeah, yeah. She gets her own. She gets her own. That's so. awesome. Uh, one of the other big uh, key things I, I really wanted to do was a panel ready uh, fridge just so it kind of fits in with, with the uh, rest of the kitchen and it, uh, I think it really worked out nice. It's, uh, well, let's see, we've got some food in there and the and classic kind of San Pellegrino. Or, um, <laughs> but uh, this is a Thermador fridge, uh, super high end, really great fridge. But it was just perfect. I think it just kind of blends itself into the, into the kitchen. And then we have the gas stove range, 
uh, obviously dishwasher and then the uh, trim kit microwave to go with it too. So who did the fri uh, who did the kitchen? Uh, DJ L did. He's done a couple of kitchens for me before, and Chris uh, Chris does an amazing job. He's awesome. So. And uh, when you uh, when you did the uh, the appliances, yeah, is there any specific? style that you were going for or yeah I just wanted budget high, or high high end appliances. Uh, I tried to these are the ones that I found where it ended up being the GE profile, the cafe line and uh, they're great. You know everything's good. The dishwasher um, has all the controls on the top kind of thing and hot hidden away so it's nice and convenient. Trim kit built around the uh, um, the microwave so that works nice and fits in nicely. And then with the stove, gas stove, which is a plus. Um, so yeah, everything worked out really nice. Okay. And one of the other big things, and a lot of people don't actually notice it, is uh, with the skylight that we do have, it brings in a lot of light into this room. And then one of our bedrooms, is, which is right behind the uh, kitchen here, uh, we wanted to carry the vaulted ceiling through, but we didn't want to feel like you know, when you're in there, that you're in a funnel. So we put glass, and it's a great sound barrier, but it also lets a lot of amazing light in there too. And so beyond that glass window is the master bedroom. Master right? bedroom, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So let's go check that out. All right. So the, the concept of, of what we did was we we wanted to be able to create a, a single family home, but also give them the option if they wanted to have a nanny suite or a rental, they could have it. So. This closet here was an option for them if they wanted to have a stackable washer and dryer. Um, the, the couple that did end up buying it uh, aren't going to do that, but it's all roughed in for them. So if they do want to have that, so it's here. So tell me, tell me a little bit of what you know about the the buyers. Like, where did they come from? Why did they want to buy this place? Yeah, it was it was something that you and I, Andre, talked about. I think what our demographic was is you know, a couple uh, young couple. Um, early 30s and uh, they live in a condo downtown, you know, fully high-end condo and they're just looking to come out a little bit further, more space, expand their family, but they want a finished property. They don't want something that they have to fix up. So, and they were looking for modern also. So they were, uh, they were pretty excited when they got it. So. I do remember them also saying that they were looking in Lestyville, yeah. expecting to find a house like this and yeah. then someone told them at an open house that they must come see the house in East York. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was nice to hear. So they, they came up and uh, they were the ones that eventually ended up winning winning uh, that night. So yeah. it was great, it was that great, was really great. nice couple. Yep. Really nice couple. So uh, this is the, uh, the master. Um, let's turn on some more light here for you. Uh, one of the key things in, in designing what we wanted to do was in each room we wanted to make sure that, because it is a small space, uh, one of the things that we wanted to make sure is that we had a key kind of feature in each room. Obviously in the, in the front living room we had that kind of brick reveal wall and in the kitchen we had the uh, panel ready fridge. Here we just kind of built in a neat little feature reveal with uh, some of uh, um, M's artwork where it just becomes a, an acting as a headboard kind of thing and then you have the nice window above it. I love that. Yeah, and then uh, we built in uh, built-in closets uh, so when you open them, we just have the, the lights already built into them kind of thing. Lots of closet space. And, and then, these are custom built? No, no. We just actually just built these in from uh, Ikea. Wow. Yeah, so the, the idea that I wanted with them is that if they wanted different accessories, they could just go basically customize and accessorize it themselves right afterwards. So. It looks great. Yeah, yeah. And then we have the uh, ensuite door here for them if they want to want to use that. And the great thing about this is, you know, if you if you do want to use it, you just close this and you can kind of lock it, and you're uh, you're into the bathroom. So um, I really love the thing about this is it just feels so big because of our ceiling height in here. And then we have the rain shower head. My favorite. Yeah, that's pretty good. And we have the uh, floor heating and just um, modern vanity kind of thing. So you have in-floor heating as well? Yes, yeah, we did for in-floor heating. Just as a nice added perk kind of thing. Yeah. And a floating vanity floating and the waterfall faucet. Yeah, yeah, this was a nice little feature, this one. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, that's great. All right. So why don't we go to the next room? Let's go.
So this back room actually ended up being um, one of my favorites. This is uh, uh, a little transom window we put in here, but the feature with this was just was just the light that was kind of available to come in here. This uh, this back room actually used to be just an extension, and the ceiling height back here used to be seven feet, and we extended the roof line out to come out and meet it, uh, so it was the same as the as the rest of the house. But uh, yeah, you get amazing light in this back room, and you get a view of the back garden. Built in a custom desk here also, uh, just as seeing as we thought this would be more for a for a young kid. And then we built, did the same thing. We built in the uh, built-in closets here for them. Mm -hmm. So, and the great thing too is uh, we have uh, additional storage. So there's lots of tons of storage up top, up there for you. And then on the other side, we have it there too. So. And this is your backyard. You you created that deck as well. And yeah, yeah. And then there was an existing garage there. We just kind of prettied it up a bit. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So. Yeah. So this is, uh, and again, we have more storage up there. Uh, so the, the house has a ton of storage in here for such a small space. Uh, we just kind of, any, any empty space that we had, we were able just to kind of use it. And another great, so this existing back room, uh, there's a crawl space that's uh, below it. So we use that whole area also for additional storage too. Okay. And that's a separate entrance that you can have? Yeah. Yeah. So if, if they did want to keep it as a, a, a separate unit, they would be able to put a door at the top there and then this could be a, a fully separate unit for them. Great rental income potential, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. For Always sure. give those people the option. Yeah. So look at the size of these ceilings. Yeah. Remember how it was before? Yeah, I couldn't stand out here. Yeah, it's great. Well, you, so, you, you, you could, you could stand. I, I couldn't stand. Yeah. <laughs> so this ends up. We end up getting just a little over eight feet now, and a uh, big difference from originally when we did it was uh, about six, six feet. So yeah, yeah. And then we built in the. Um, washer and dryer in here there and then uh, this is the uh, furnace room so the furnace is there we have uh, hot water on demand and then you can see in front of you it's uh, that's the injector uh, which we had to put in because now the um, uh, the water lines are below uh, where they were before so we have to actually pump the water out and then we have this uh, pump here Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then the other thing we did with this second bathroom is that we only had two bathrooms. We we wanted to make sure, as you can see in a lot of renovations, that you know people go all out on the upstairs washroom, but then kind of tend to mitigate and forget about the washroom downstairs. But we really tried to you know do it just as nice as we did the upstairs one, and uh, yeah, I think it turned out well. It did. Very nice. So this is the living space that you have downstairs here. Um, nice, good room. And then what we did was we put in a, a wet bar. And instead of putting a full kitchen, uh, we have everything roughed in. So there is an uh, oven outlet roughed in there at the bottom. But we instead of putting in a fridge, we actually just put in a, a wine bar, a wine fridge, which I think went over well with a lot of people. Kind of thing. they really liked it. So. Uh, and then they have the option if, if they do want to put a fridge in there, they can put a fridge in there, no problem. And then we have the two bedrooms. Um, you know, there are, there are decent sizes for basement yeah. bedrooms. Yep. Yeah. And you have that your electrical box there. Yeah, we have the electrical box, and uh, and then we have um, yeah, we also put the. Uh, Put a separate panel, so if they want for their uh, internet and Ethernet and all that stuff's here, separated kind of thing for them. So it's perfect that way. So what's interesting is that you've done, not only from my opinion, but from many, many people who've come through this house, uh, you've done a fantastic design, Aaron. Thank you. Yeah, I, I can't take all the credit by any means at all. Uh, Will Hudson from Will Hudson Architect. I uh, worked with him a lot on this project. He was a good friend and uh, 
helped out a lot with coming up with creative ideas. Like I said before, Jeff and you know came up with the original idea of vaulting the ceilings. I think we just went in a little different uh, design wise, but I owe him a lot of credit for that. And then uh, my wife Emily Miller, she uh, was a big support on this. So it was great. It was fun doing it with her. And uh, people have asked me, do you, would you be willing to design their homes now? Yeah, we've had we've had a number of people like I, uh, you know, usually I, I run a design agency. That's what I do. And. Uh, Will and I have been talking about it. We've had a couple, quite a few people come forward to us now, actually, and ask them if we would, you know, convert their existing bungalows into, you know, modern spaces like this. And yeah, we this is something I think we're we're going to move forward and, and do for sure. Awesome. Do you have a website that people can go to? Uh, we're putting one together, but you can just check us out on uh, NewRepublic.ca uh, for now, or contact Will at Will Hudson Architecture. So. Okay, and uh, last but not least. Uh, if you can tell us a little bit about uh, your next volleyball match that you promised me. <laughs> this summer, buddy. This summer. That's why we call you Spiker, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> well done, Aaron, and congratulations. Thank you. Do you want to see the backyard? Uh, let's go. That's my beer. Hey, Aaron. Oh, what a backyard. What a backyard. I just you know, wanted to show you guys how wonderful this backyard is. Put the barbecue here. Do you have a gas line that comes through? Yeah. Yeah. Really, really nice. It's uh, what kind of deck is this? Is this Caesar cedar deck? Cedar, yeah. Cedar deck, and you actually uh, uh, put the new garage together. I won't ask for the code. <laughs> <laughs> but there is a little uh, hidden area back here that not many people knew about. where you can have your food, your quiet, romantic dinners, and uh, great backyard. You've really dressed it up really well. And uh, just I wanted to say a, a, couple, a couple, of final, uh, couple of final notes here, and that is, uh, Aaron, I, I truly believe you've done a fantastic job. Uh, you've really set a new trend, a new precedent in East York. Uh, like I said before, you've turned a uh, war bungalow into a modern, beautiful gem that the new owners will be ecstatic about. They've already told us how happy they are, but I know just I can only imagine how happy they will be once they start living here and entertaining. So uh, I look forward to seeing more of your designs. And if you ever have any more questions, you know who to call. I'm always there for you. Take care.